In a small village nestled among misty hills, there lived a woman named Martha, renowned for her kindness but burdened by loneliness. One autumn evening, as the sun dipped behind the mountains, Martha ventured into the darkening woods in search of firewood. Little did she know, this walk would lead her into the heart of an ancient curse. As she bent to gather wood, Martha's gaze caught something unusual, a glint of metal beneath a thorny bush. Curiosity peaked, she reached in and pulled out a rusted, but intricately designed, locket. As she examined it, a low, mournful growl echoed through the trees. Startled, Martha turned to see a massive, fearsome beast emerging from the shadows. Its fur was dark and matted, and its eyes glowed with an unsettling light. But rather than attack, the beast limped forward, collapsing at her feet. Martha's heart swelled with compassion. She knew the creature was more than it appeared, a victim of some terrible fate. She carefully lifted the locket and noticed it was inscribed with the name Edmund. Martha decided then and there to help the beast, believing it to be linked to this mysterious locket. Martha brought the beast to her cottage, tending to its wounds with herbs and bandages. Each night, she would talk to it, hoping to uncover its secrets, but the beast remained silent, though it watched her with those glowing eyes, as if waiting for something. Days turned into weeks, and the beast's health improved, yet it showed no sign of transformation. But Martha did not waver. She continued to care for it, believing that kindness alone could break the curse. Then, one evening, as she sat by the fire, Martha opened the locket again. Inside, she found a tiny portrait of a young, handsome man with sorrowful eyes. Below it, another inscription read, only when the heart is seen will the truth be revealed. Suddenly, the cottage door burst open and an old, withered woman hobbled inside. Her eyes were sharp and her voice was cold. You found it, didn't you? The locket, she rasped. Martha stood, shielding the beast. Who are you? The old woman sneered. I am the one who cursed this creature and only I can break the spell. But you... She pointed a bony finger at Martha. You've done something remarkable. You've seen past the exterior, but there's one final test. The old woman waved her hand, and the beast began to writhe and shift. Martha watched in horror as its fur peeled away, revealing not the man in the portrait, but a two-headed creature. You see, the old woman cackled, the beast is not the prince. The locket was a trick. The real curse is this. Only the one who truly loves the beast in all its forms can break the spell. If you reject it now, it will remain this way forever. While Martha was torn, the creature was terrifying, unlike anything she had ever seen, yet she could not forget the bond they had formed over the past weeks. Stealing herself, Martha knelt before the beast, looking into both pairs of eyes. I do not care what you look like she whispered. You are more than a curse. You are my friend. As her words echoed through the room, the old woman screamed, her form shimmering and fading. No, it cannot be. And with that, she vanished, leaving only a wisp of smoke. The creature before Martha began to change once more. But this time, it did not become the man from the locket, nor did it return to its former form. Instead, it became a magnificent golden lion with eyes that glowed with wisdom and kindness. The lion spoke in a deep, resonant voice. Martha, your love has freed me. I was once a guardian of these lands, cursed by a witch to be trapped in that hideous form until someone could love me unconditionally. The lion lowered its head in gratitude. Now, I am free to protect the village once more. You, Martha, shall never be lonely again, for you have proven that true beauty lies not in appearance, but in the heart. From that day forward, Martha was never alone. The lion remained her loyal companion, and the village, once haunted by the mysterious beast of the woods, now thrived under the protection of its noble guardian. And Martha, 
whose kindness had broken the darkest of curses, was forever remembered as the woman who saw the heart of a beast and found the courage to love it. In the end, Martha found not just companionship, but a profound truth. Sometimes, the greatest treasures are hidden in the most unexpected places, and the bravest hearts are those that see beyond what meets the eye.